told us this was the spot. We followed his map. It's another decoy, I bet. No, this has to be it. It's the last spot on the map. Maybe if we had a magnet, we could just, like, grab everything. Clarence, these are priceless artifacts from a lost civilization. I was joking. Well, very funny. Can you hear us? David? Loud and clear, Tracy. You may proceed. History books may record this moment, everyone, for this is the moment that the lost city of Atlanta... Tracy? Tracy? Hello? Anyone? As we all know, today marks three months since the disappearance of Team Aqua Raiders. Although we do not know what has happened to them, and we have not been able to find any trace of them, we will always remember and cherish them in our hearts. Thank you, Dr. Brains. That was very nice. No, thank you for joining us, Captain Speedman. Your reputation precedes you. Is that so, Captain? Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, Twenty-two years in the Navy. Then I worked as a professor for a few years, but I've always been drawn to the ocean. Very impressive. And who might you be, new face at the table? Oh, Captain, that is Professor Samantha Rhodes. Oh, sorry, I'm new here. Just graduated. Hello, Captain Speedman. It's nice to meet you. Just graduated? Hmm... Well, in that case, let me introduce you to my colleague, Jeff Fisher. Hi there. I'm the resident marine biologist in the building. I study fish. And aquatic life. Some people just call me fish. And please, tell me more. I'm Lance, just in case anybody was going to ask. Hi. All right, Jeff, I think that's enough introductions for now. Doctor, if you don't mind. Ah, yes. So, as you know... It has been three months since Team Aqua Raiders disappeared somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean. What was supposed to be an investigation into a lost civilization turned into a search for a lost group of divers. So we're primarily recovering remains. No, not exactly. There is one other element of the situation that is still commanding our interest. This symbol, it appears everywhere in our research. 
It's been found etched into stone all over the Atlantic. We believe it represents an object that exists in physical form. Well, what are you suggesting we do? Look, there are stories about this symbol all over the world, but it can be especially triangulated within 500 kilometers of this spot in the Atlantic. Coincidence? I see what you mean, Brains. But what are you asking us to do? I have strong beliefs that this symbol could be traced back to a single relic, one with supernatural origin in the Atlantic. So we're searching for four dead bodies and a magical relic from a lost civilization. Got it. Anything else I can get you? If you don't take this seriously, you are free to be excused. The rest of you clear your schedules for the next two weeks. Well, it looks like it'll be the four of us. Now, tell us more, Doctor. Unfortunately, some elements of your mission must remain classified. But I assure you, when you need to know something, I will tell you. Do you seriously believe there's some key to an ancient civilization hidden in the ocean? Do I look insane to you? No, Miss Rhodes, I don't. But I go with what the professor says because I like my job. As far as I'm concerned, this is a mission to recover the remains of the Aqua Raiders crew, who were presumably devoured by sharks. Anything beyond that is just conjecture. I personally believe there is evidence to support the existence of a lost civilization in the Atlantic. You personally believe there is evidence. Do you realize how absurd you sound right now? Look, Ace, I'm a marine biologist. I study fish all day. Sometimes I can choose to believe in something bigger than myself. Whatever. I will now explain, in excruciating detail, the function of every piece of equipment you will need on your expedition. Lance, if you don't mind? Yeah, I designed most of these a while ago, so they're kind of crappy. You designed all these? Yeah, I mean, I took some inspiration from what Brains here designed for the power miners a while back, but mostly the designs are all original. Huh. After the tech demonstration, we will be needing everyone's signatures on some paperwork. Just routine stuff. Naturally. So, we're really doing this? Guess so. I just hope I find that fish I told you about. What fish? Oh, Jeff has this dream of discovering a new species of fish. Well, it's not just the dream, actually. It's backed by years of scientific research. And I believe this mission may be just the opportunity to find it. Remember, we're supposed to be locating corpses, Jeff. Not fish. <laughs> right. Well, I'm going because it's my lifelong dream, and because I believe in myself. Now, what dismissive comment do you have for that, Captain? Oh my, what an attitude. Anywho, I'm going on this expedition because I miss the ocean. It's been too long since I've been to sea. And I'm going because it's part of my internship. Gru, I wish you a swift and speedy recovery and return to the surface. You have us on standby if anything goes wrong. We are all watching after you. I'll take it from here. You just watch and learn, young one. Young one? I'm 25. I'm 55, so that makes me 30 years your senior. When you're the oldest, you can take command. I wouldn't wish something like that, Captain. Fair enough. And you can just call me Ace, Professor. Likewise. Call me Sam. Right then. Sounds good to me, Sam. Uh, that's Professor to you, please. Aww.
Godspeed, speed man. I see pretty much what you see, Fish. The Aqua Raiders base was located about a kilometer from here. Right. Then let's activate this tracking beacon for brains and keep moving. Hold on, everyone. I saw something down there. Now's not the time for you to discover a new species, fish. It's not a fish. It's something shiny. Something shiny? Well, let's check it out. I think it's my turn to go out. Very well. Go ahead, First Mate Spears. Today's my lucky day. He's an eager one. What is that? It's some kind of ancient shield thing. A lost relic of a- Lance, look out! Huh? never seen anything like it! Some kind of half-man, half-sea creature! Fascinating. Yeah, yeah, it's fascinating! When it didn't just try to murder you! Maybe we should collect the corpse for research purposes. Um, Captain Speedman? What is it, Sam? The body's gone. Are you sure it's not just buried in the sand? I think we should get out of here, fast! Whatever that thing was, it's gone now. It came out of the sand. I saw it! Let's just get out of here before we all... Ah! What's that? Okay? I think so. What was that thing? Some kind of giant octopus. Actually, that appeared to be a squid of some kind. Just saying. Thanks, Fish. Now, can we salvage our other vehicles? Hey, guys. Look over here. Does it see us? I think it might see us. Kill the humans. It definitely sees us. Did that thing just speak? It would not even be the strangest thing that's happened today. Now let's get out of here! 
Clyde! Back to the ship! It's our only chance! Fascinating. I wonder... barely made it out of there. I've never seen anything like it. I think we've just discovered a whole lot of new species. So they must all be guarding that purple thing. Whatever that thing is, it has to be super important. We've got to get back in touch with Dr. Brains. I told you, our signals aren't connecting to anything down here. We strayed so far off course, it was never planned for us to go this deep. In fact, there's no record that shows this depth even exists. Wherever we are, it's totally off any maps. Maybe it could be... I don't know. Don't say Atlantis. Well... There's no such thing as Atlantis. What was Dr. Brains talking about? How that relic could have supernatural origins. What did he mean by that? I don't know. We can ask him ourselves after we return to the Neptune carrier. Ace, are you crazy? You saw all those sea monsters chasing us. Well, what's your plan? Just live down at the bottom of the ocean forever? I've got a life to return to. Our vehicles can't complete the journey back to safe waters on their own. We need the Neptune carrier. We're gonna get our ship back. Take that purple ring thing and find out what the heck all of this is for. Who's with me? I'm with you, Ace. Atlantis crew? On three? <sighs> Fine. Atlantis crew on three. Three, two, one. Atlantis, Atlantis crew! crew. I looked one of them right in the eye. My apprentice, you have not failed me before. I know you will not fail me twice. <laughs> <laughs>